Hello, I'm Priscilla Archangel, and my leadership insight for you today is AI needs EI. It's about people. In November of 2022, when OpenAI launched ChatGPT, which stands for Chat Generative Pre-Trained Transformer, it's a technology that lets users ask questions and receive human-like responses, and many early adopters and influencers were quick to try it out and use it in their work. Now, I have to admit, when it comes to technology, I call myself a middle majority adopter. I want someone else to try it out, work out all the bugs, let me know if it's fine before I get into it. So I just recently put it to the test, and I was spurred on by a colleague who shared with me how much it helped him in his work. I'd been working on projects for several days for several clients, and in addition to researching things and developing my own material, I decided to input some prompts to see what would happen. And I will tell you, the results were amazing. And right now, leaders and organizations and educational institutions are really trying to figure out how to best leverage AI, both ethically and functionally. And frankly, they're determining the degree to which it can replace or reduce the need for people performing certain tasks. It's both an exciting and a scary question. And yet, AI only exists because humans review and label data and build software and create models. It shifts the required skill sets and business processes in ways that are still evolving. So thinking about the value that people add to organizations, I ask ChatGPT to give me a comparison of artificial intelligence and emotional intelligence. If technology can replicate the thought process of humans, I wondered how it addresses emotional intelligence. And as I reviewed the responses I received from my chat GPT queries, I also made a few observations. Observation one, context. There's a saying, garbage in, garbage out. The answers are only as good as the questions asked. And in every situation, you have to provide appropriate perspective to evaluate whether the output is suitable. You can add context to your query to improve the results, but it's all highly situational, and a well-developed emotional intelligence is important. Observation two, interpretation. Humans explain and make meaning of information based upon nuances, environments, emotions, history, and more. And the same information can have different meanings for different people. And while technology can learn after the fact, how well can it interpret the variety of human responses? The third observation is accuracy. Now, the site disclaimer says that ChatGPT is sometimes wrong, and we've already heard multiple news reviews of people who use AI to write reports, legal briefs, other documents, only to find later that the information provided was incorrect. AI is also frequently used in the chat feature of business websites, and it provides accurate responses to my questions about half the time. The rest of the time, I'll tell you, I'm frustrated. The fourth observation is learning. Chat GPT can prepare well-written documents, but there's value in individuals learning how to structure a document, developing the flow of communication, and conducting research to understand what information is important, relevant, related, and adjacent to the topic at hand. The very process of exploration can generate additional ideas as well as strengthen information in your memory. The fifth observation is authenticity. And by now you may be asking whether I'll use ChatGPT to write my monthly leadership insights. And the answer is no, because for me, sharing learnings with my readers connects to my passion. Really, it's all about people. AI technology will improve in the future and we'll all be able to increasingly use it in a variety of ways. But the uniqueness of emotional intelligence remains unparalleled in fostering genuine human connections. Organizations must integrate EI to effectively manage AI applications. And even in the realm of technology, it's still all about people. Thanks for listening.